My name is Johnny Scoble. Look at me. I'm a man with issues. This is Chase the Heat. People, I should take my knife off. I've already used it. Uh, we're going to do a, I normally don't do uh, Tommy's picks and challenges. But since he's had a sabbatical, we'd like to have him back. Uh, and since he has provided with me some, I'm going to do a Tommy's picks in today's challenge. And because of that, uh, in an attempt to save a little time, what I've done is I've taken the liberty of cutting these pods open already. What I have on this chopping block, the Carolyn Canard official Chase C pepperboard, Memorial pepperboard. You see it right there, you guys? Those are six super hots. They all look the same. Oh, they're not. Now, these are grown by Daniel Iron Man Mosier. I mean, listen. The dude is an animal. He makes great sauces. He's just a straight savage. He's, listen, he's an uh, arm wrestling phenom. Here's the deal about him. Um, you know, somebody might reference him as saying his arms like Popeye. I'm going to go with SpongeBob. You guys ever see the SpongeBob SquarePants episode where he gets these inflatable arms to look all bad at the beach? Looks like Daniel. Only Daniel's real crazy but here's the best part he's a super cool guy makes great sauces grow great grows great pots I have here six peppers I have three <coughs> hurtberry uh, peppers three dragon's breath and three infinity peppers they are all gorgeous I took pictures of them on the inside and the outside they will be up on the Instagram so please check them out the underscore Johnny Scoble all right so uh, we're gonna eat these I'm gonna get Tommy's picks out because uh, I'm having a ball with Tommy's picks lately. So these six paws, I'm hoping to get a bit of an endorphin rush from these. I will show you the interior before I eat them since I'm not taking the time to cut them up and everything. This is the first one. This is a Hurtberry. Thank you, Daniel. Mosier Spice. Here we go. Here's the first one. Issues abound. I'm Johnny Scoble, this is JC. Fruity and very floral. Man, it's a good thing I've gotten better with floral, huh? So I'm already broken them up. Okay, um, that was very hot, very floral. Uh, it's really funny. Uh, my pepper apprentice, David, is is this season where I was four seasons ago, where he really, really struggles with the floral. Ain't a lot better with it. The reason I bring that up, that pepper I just ate would have had him retching. Here's the second one. I'm eating them back to back. I just want to see if it's another floral. Uh, this one has one teeny dark seed. To avoid you thinking I am full of it, I'm going to show you. Bottom, right here at the bottom, you'll see a little dark seed. See that little guy? I'm going to remove him. Second hurtberry. That was virtually identical in flavor. So I have uh, six pods. We'll do two pods per comment. By the way, let me give you what's up on the docket next. Next up are two infinity pods. Gorgeous little pods, really neat. This is what it looked like uh, it was before I cut it. It's got a great little tail on it. Super looking little pod, and this is what looks like cut open. So I'm going to eat this for, um, let me start on the comments. Jesse Laird.
that was a much more enjoyable pepper. Not nearly as uh, as uh, floral. It was. I think it's hotter. Jesse Laird says, "Man, holiday Christmas popcorn is going to surprise Granny." Oh, I'm not going to give the normal speech about how we never want to give capsaicin to anyone, any uh, anyone practical joke style, uh, or not telling them about it first. I'm not going to do that. The reason is because this comment actually had me laughing out loud. The visual image of Granny. In our case, I was thinking about my father's mom and picturing her grabbing a handful of, of something like that. That was a Reaper bird quality. You could probably see my brother's reaction. This is funny, man. Yeah, can you imagine that, Tommy? Holy moly. That would be funny. I'm going to eat the... Uh, Guy. Somehow these little guys got separated. I don't know what happened. That was a dragon's breath. Uh, Remus, record in for heat. Boy, my ears are burning. There you go. There you go. Uh, Remus, record in for heat says, everyone have a good day tonight. Lots of work to do tomorrow. I'm repotting all my pepper plants and moving them to mom's farm where I grew up so they can grow up. <laughs> Love you all. Oh, oh, oh. In my best horse shack. Wow. Uh, can I buy powder from, by the pound from Blazing Foods? Asking for a friend. You can. Give me a call. I know a guy. I can't believe one of the horse shack reference. That's crazy. Most people know about how I feel about my Uncle Steve from north of the border. Uh, amazing dude. Uh, the man's uh, quick wit and sense of humor make him one of the legends of what I do at Chase the Heat. Uh, this kind of really had me going in a large part due to the horse shack reference that he made. Now, you you know what horse shack? The name. You know what his name meant? The name Horseshack meant the cattle are dying. How about that? Now, if you're not aware of uh, where Horseshack came from, shame on you. <coughs> or I guess maybe not. Maybe you're just too young. But there was a show called Welcome Back, Cotter. Uh, you might want to look it up. And you'll thank me later. John Travolta, when he was a, just a youngster, made his debut on the show. Gabe Kaplan played Cotter, a teacher. Uh, just a lot of really talented people, but the Horshack character was by far the funniest on the show. Now, Uncle Steve, if you were a real fan of the show, you'd probably remember what Horshack means. He asked, uh, he asked uh, once what the definition of his name was. Or, uh, I hope he doesn't ask what it is and there's a quiz because then I blew it. Or if there was one, I'll let you think about it for a moment. While you do, I would like to address the fact that you, you then uh, inquire about buying this a pound at a time, but you say that you're asking for a friend. Air quotes, the friend. Uh, the truth of the matter is, the number of people that uh, my uncle Steve helps out, that may not have been a joke. Steve, you are the embodiment of all things that make the bus great. I love you, my brother. Oh, and in case you weren't able to get it, Horseshack means the cattle are dying. Boom! That's great. Hey, Johnny, tell me Papa Skull is, is laughing out loud. He totally is. He loved that show. Infinity. At least I saved the most floral ones from the end. Wow. Whew. Nicholas Burns, I think we need the Johnny B. Good riff. That is after a Ramones rift. Well, Nick Burns has a suggestion, or perhaps it's a request. He would like you to play something by the Ramones. So, was, you know, there's a Tommy Ramone and a Johnny, Johnny Ramone. Pretty cool. Uh, as long as you uh, you got three chords, pretty much you uh, should be able to get it down, and uh, <laughs> you should be able to. And I'll bring us some Ramones. It wasn't a, uh, it wasn't really the chords; it was how Johnny Ramone used those chords. 
unbelievable. But he would also like for you to play a little ditty called Johnny Be Good, an absolute classic of a rock song. One million people have recorded it. How about that? A million people have recorded that song. I think I ought to. Where are we? My ears are ringing. And the last verse of that song actually made me think of my brother. You see in it, Johnny's mother makes a prediction. And she says, wait, I'll tell you what. I'll just tell you the verse. It goes something like this. You guys ready? Mama Scoville told him someday he would be a man. And he would be the driver of a big old van. People coming all the world around to watch you chopping peppers when the sun goes down. Maybe someday your name will be in lights reading Johnny Scoval tonight. How about that? Listen, my throat's burning. My ears are burning. I don't sing well. Count that as a microphone drop for Tommy Scoval with the assistance of my man, Nick Burns. God bless you. How about the assistance of the guy who had to sing that song? Uh, everybody, see you next time. I'm Tommy. Those were my picks. Man, Whew. lit up big time. But I feel great. Mr. or Mrs. Human YouTuber viewer, what you just saw me do was certainly healthy. Controlled environment. I'm a trained professional. This is what I do for a living. And I just got a tremendous amount of vitamin C and I feel wonderful. So take a seat, calm your farm. It's going to be all right. Guys, we're going to wrap up right now. Thank you, Daniel uh, Mosier, for those amazing peppers. They were hot. I had some more. We'll do some more this weekend. Love you guys a lot. Uh, listen, if you've been watching these videos, I want to thank you. If you've clicked the, uh, that pepper and you're part of this, thank you. If you never have, thank you. It's okay. But you may want to think about doing that. Click that pepper. When you do, you're part of this. All right? Uh, if you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. Miss none of them. Especially if you come back at 8, noon, and 9 every day when we upload. Make sure you hit all when the drop button happens when you hit the, the bell. Leave a fire there. More videos there. Er, excuse me. I'm Johnny Scoble. This was Chase the Heat.